BitSpeak by Sonic Charge is very different to the rack extensions we've looked at so far in the synthetic rig bundle. It's a vocoder of sorts, but it harks back to the 1980s and, and speaking toys like the Speak and Spell and Furby and maybe even the SID chip. It's got that sort of sound to it. And it sounds like circuit bent toys, you know, that you can actually buy and make yourself. But right here in your reason rack, it's not hugely musical and it's pretty unpredictable in all honesty. And there's no presets with it. So it's very straightforward. I would be prepared for some unpredictable results, but they're a lot of fun at the same time and it doesn't sound like anything else in the Reason Rack. So that alone makes it worth having in your Sonic arsenal. So what I've done is I've just put it across the master bus and then I feel the best way uh, to use it is with a keyboard. So you would go right click and then create track for BitSpeak. And you can see down here in the sequencer, we've got a track created automatically. And now I can play it like a, a MIDI device. Now, let's take a look at the controls and see what you should do to set it up. Before we look at the front panel, let's take a look at the rear panel. Now, of course, I've just inserted it here right into my, uh, into my master channel. So the audio in and the audio out have been routed for me. But there's also an external in, so you could route a synth or something like that in. There's also plenty of CV uh, in and out functionality. So you can modulate a lot of the, uh, the, the parameters. So let's flip it back round and take a look at the front panel. Now we've got a sample rate control here, and this goes from eight kilohertz all the way to 44 or 48 kilohertz. So sort of CD quality essentially, I guess, down to complete retro noise. <laughs> then we've got a frame rate control, which is how fast the tracking works by all accounts. And this can be synced to your BPM or not. So it could be free running or not. And I've got it in sync mode and then it's musical measures, much like a delay line or something like that. We've then got a keyboard mode, which I've got on because this is the way we're using it here. And then down the bottom, pitch and fine pitch. Tracking is how fast it clamps down onto the incoming data. Detune is pretty obvious. It just gives you like a detune de control. I think it seems to split the signal into two and give you sort of a fatter sound. And then we've got a noise generator, which will sort of act on the incoming data. So sort of like a vocoder, I'd say, in many respects. But let's have a listen to it in action in the next video and you can make up your own mind <laughs> to what this thing actually is.